Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I want to do a personal thank you for everyone who ordered the free seeds. It's been amazing getting these put together and sent out. We've sent out thousands and thousands of seeds. And uh, it's great to know that uh, out there people are getting their garden started and being self-reliant and growing their own food. So let's get started. Go ahead and separate these things all out. The first one is a sweet pumpkin. Uh, these grow a smaller fruit. They grow to about five, six pounds. It's going to take you 110 days to get fruit out of this. Don't plant these pumpkins until all the danger of frost has passed in your area and the soil is thoroughly warm. Uh, plant pumpkins, if you want to have them for Halloween, plant them uh, around late May. And uh, put these varieties about an inch deep and uh, they should be about two feet apart in the row. These are Russian sunflowers and evidence suggests that the plant was cultivated by the Indians in Arizona and New Mexico as far back as 3000 BC. Uh, these are great um, great for your borders. Plant this on the back edge where it won't shade the shorter crops. It's a nice border plant and it attracts pollinators. This has nice big sunflower heads too so you're going to get lots of seeds back. I love this plant. It's a great one to grow. These seeds are the uh, Green Globe Artichoke. This is a plant, it's a member of the thistle family. The Green Globe Artichoke provides one of the richest flavors. It's got the most meat. It's a really excellent uh, heirloom variety for uh, any of the, you know, any the artichoke recipes that you have. And we'll share some of those later in the edible classroom. Uh, choose a place that gets full sun. And plants get four to five feet tall, so you, you want to make sure that they're not shading out shorter plants. They're perennials which it takes two years to get a, a crop out of these. So plant them in part of the garden where they're not going to be disturbed. And dig the soil deeply and add plenty of organic matter. That's what artichokes love. Plant them at least three feet apart. You might get uh, seven to 12 different fruits off each one. So eat some and collect a couple for seed saving. You can grow more of these. This is an amazing variety, uh, the Green Globe. And uh, I think you're going to really like it. Excellent. This next one is five color chard. And uh, this is a spectacular plant gives you a full range of colors and grows uh, through the entire season. Uh, it's a delicious variety. It's great in stir fry. Uh, you want to let them, some of these go to seed, mark them, and uh, you can replant the same plant year after year. It's an excellent variety here in California. We've, we've still got some going, you know, started last winter, so we're still eating chard out of the garden. What we've got is uh, a variety of beans that we put in here, and so a lot of them are pole beans at the bottom there, the Anasazi bush bean. There's a the white one's the lima bean. There's a wide variety of beans. Everyone got a few different ones. Uh, what you want to do is grow them out, save seeds, and then grow them again. Um, you want to build your reserves and build this up. Beans are a great staple to have, and you'll get back hundreds of beans when you do it. Uh, one of the best all times for baking and, and soups, uh, so the Anasazi beans are amazing. Uh, these, most of these will create really good, about 15 inch tall plants, and uh, Average uh, four to five seeds per pod. This is an amazing plant. It's a Kakuza squash. It's an oriental squash that grows about five to seven pounds. It's a rare fruit, excellent variety, and really sweet, and a little, even spicy. Uh, you want to plant in little mounds, three seeds to a mound. Uh, keep the seedlings moist and enjoy delicious squash in about three months. Make sure that you keep the, the, the seeds and the seedlings moist. Uh, squash is really like that. This is a Hopi strawberry popcorn. This is an amazing plant. It's one of the smallest corns we've ever grown here. It's only about four feet tall, making it great for a small container garden or a small garden. It's a really good one to grow with kids. It's part of the uh, Edible Gardens Kids Collection. It's got lots of flavor, shape, the size is really unique, and it's a variety. It's easy to grow, and, uh, it has great success. And what you do is take the dried kernels and pop them into popcorn right off, right off the kernel. It's amazing. And you'll have fruit off this one. You'll have a, a full crop in about 100 days, a little more than three months, so um, which is exciting. A lot of these things will be coming at the same time. This next and unusual looking seed is New Zealand spinach. And uh, New Zealand spinach is not related to true spinach, but the leaves uh, are very similar and taste, taste very much alike. Some people actually think it's better than spinach and it doesn't turn bitter and it also has a really high vitamin C content. You soak these seeds in warm water for two to eight hours before planting helps uh, soften the seed coat and will improve your germination results. It can take a couple weeks for the germination to occur on the New Zealand spinach, so keep it moist and keep the faith. This last one is a pickling cucumber. It's a wonderful and totally rewarding crop. 
to grow in the garden. It, uh, you're going to have about 55 days. You're going to have a great crop of uh, pickles. And uh, plant two feet apart. Keep the ground moist and grow in small amounts for best results. Thanks everyone who ordered the seeds. Have a great time. Stay tuned on the Edible Classroom. We're getting going on that. It's uh, very exciting. And uh, I'll see you guys in the garden. My name is William Martin. I run Edible Gardens here. And I'm really pleased to, to be a part of your life. So thanks for coming. And uh, happy gardening.